Lesson uh, 338 of A Course in Miracles, I'm affected only by my thoughts. This is one of the most uh, powerful lessons in the sense that it tells me of the great power of the thoughts I hold in mind. <coughs> uh, right from childhood, um, I had no spirituality in my life and um, and really, my early childhood was absorbed in uh, food addiction uh, to escape the world uh, uh, and numb out, and also um, fantasy, films and fantasy, and anything to distract me from this inner feeling of <clears throat> disconnection uh, and, if you like, separation, and, and to escape the feeling within of fear. Uh, the the, uh, the addiction and the fear and the progression of my um, negative thinking increased uh, as my life progressed and I was um, using food heavily to sedate and escape my feeling of fear and separation within. I also then picked up uh, another addiction of workalism and I was working like a lunatic in the stock market uh, and my last addiction uh, was a preoccupation and obsession uh, with women and uh, and then at the age of uh, 30 on a business flight back from New York to London my feet started to swell up and I was admitted uh, to the Royal Free Hospital immediately uh, on arrival back in London uh, because um, I was diagnosed with a acute kidney failure. I'd lost about 70% of my kidney function and I was on the, the route to death um, with kidney failure. And the doctors were running around uh, taking lots and lots of blood from me to send to the various departments to find out why my kidneys were collapsing so rapidly and at the age of 30 in that hospital bed I was facing uh, I was facing my death and leaving the body at the age of 30 and it was to be uh, one of the most electrifying points in my life even though I was full of fear my thinking was now at a level of going at a hundred miles an hour in negativity uh, with all the fearful scenarios and the fear of the loss of my life and leaving the body and something mystical happened in that hospital bed uh, it was the right set of circumstances and I surrendered I surrendered in that hospital bed and in a split second the fear disappeared, my negative thoughts disappeared and I was catapulted into an experience of infinite peace, infinite love, infinite stillness, timelessness and, and limitless love. It's what I'd call uh, a higher love than I've ever experienced in this world, uh, in my in my lifetime until that point I, I experienced a heavenly a heavenly realm free of fear and thought uh, but then uh, a, th a message did arrive in that, in that experience that I needed to find a spiritual solution it was like I was returned to my normal level of consciousness in the hospital bed but the experience was electrifying and even though I had kidney failure I now had hope that if there was a way out of my demise it would be in finding a spiritual solution and it awoken me that spiritual experience to lots more spiritual and mystical experiences and synchronicities and more almost like guidance uh, and uh, I went on a long spiritual quest and in one of the one of the groups I attended I was given a DVD and as I started to watch this DVD, I had 
my second major spiritual experience, which was a state of bliss as the speaker spoke, tingling up my spine. It was also profound. And I knew that this man was going to be very, very important and that I needed to meet him. So I booked a flight to Sedona, Arizona. And there I, I got to meet a man who was, of course, the miracles teacher. And he shared that um, through the Course in Miracles, he had recovered from 23 illnesses. He had run um, uh, and, and that the, the thing that he recommended everyone was to do the lessons in the Course in Miracles. And he had run a attitudinal healing group for those with serious illnesses. And many had recovered from seemingly life-threatening illnesses. And in the presence of this man, I just went into a state of infinite peace just to be near him. So I was, I was supremely confident um, that I would, I would take his advice um, and, and do the lessons every day, religiously, of A Course in Miracles. He shared of the the power, the negative power of holding limiting thoughts and belief systems in mind and that how one could use the Course in Miracles to become free of, of these thoughts that I'm holding in mind that I believe and that I have been imprinted on from the collective of humanity. So with great gusto and great almost religious zeal I wanted to perfectly do uh, the Course in Miracles lessons with the aim of deleting every thought that could be contributing to my kidney failure, uh, to my asthma, to my gout, to my extreme exhaustion. And through um, application of the Course in Miracles and especially um, the letting go of the thoughts, the cancelling of my thoughts uh, by saying God did not create asthma and so it is not real. God did not create kidney failure and so it is not real. God did not create um, God did not create limitation and so it is not real. God did not create exhaustion and so it is not real. God did not create suffering and so it is not real. With the gout uh, I had studied uh, biochemistry and was, and was prior to my kidney failure a pharmaceutical analyst in the stock market and so I knew the uh, I knew a fair amount about my illnesses and with gout um, the doctors measure high uric acid levels which they say causes the uh, gout attack so I just said God did not create high uric acid levels uh, in my blood God did not create high blood pressure which I suffered with with kidney failure and so it is not real and as I kept uh, applying all the day all the lessons from Course in Miracles every day and especially Lesson 14, God did not create any of the beliefs I'm holding in mind. God did not create asthma. And I realized that there was a lot of medical belief systems I needed to, to cancel from the collective, like uh, the belief as I was very heavy into um, science. I needed to cancel all those limiting belief systems that I'm subject to <coughs> uh, blood toxicity, uh, vasoconstriction, vasodilation, all of these things I believed I was subject to, that I was under the laws of medicine or of science. But the Course in Miracles had told me, and this man's living proof that he'd recovered from 23 illnesses, many life-threatening, through applying the Course in Miracles lessons, and many others had, you know, I knew that there was the power of the miraculous to let go of my fearful perception and my limiting beliefs that I was holding in mind to let go of these thoughts and that miracles were possible. 
So with um, with very diligent practice of the course lessons every day, and especially lesson 14, very heavily on a daily basis to say that I was, you know, that, I, that God had not created all these things I was suffering from, asthma, my belief in asthma, my belief in kidney failure, my belief in high blood pressure, my belief in not being able to breathe, my belief in needing a walking stick, my belief in needing asthma inhalers. As I did that, in a, within about three to five years, um, I was discharged from the asthma clinic. They said my lung capacity was now normal. Uh, I stopped having my gout attacks uh, and my uric acid levels in my blood returned to normal. And I was discharged from the hospital rheumatology clinic. And as I kept saying, God did not create asthma. Sorry, God did not create uh, kidney failure and so it's not real. Uh, suddenly I was given a transplant miraculously and the need for being on a machine eight hours a day to keep me alive, which was an awful experience, which I hope no one would ever have to experience. Um, you know, the transplant came and was successful miraculously. <clears throat> Everything went well with the operation and uh, I have not been on a dialysis machine for over 10 years. Um, but however, as soon as they gave me the kidney transplant, uh, they gave me like two huge carrier bags with 13 medications, which is quite standard for a transplant patient to take every day. Uh, and I was just swallowing loads and loads of tablets. But then for me, I started applying, God did not create side effects from the various tablets. And so it's not real. Uh, God did not create. And as I did this every day, with specific attention to everything I could believe about the need for medication, the side effects of medication. Uh, within uh, about two years, um, I, I went, the doctor started taking away all the medication as it seemed I didn't need one medication after the other. And within two years, I was down to one medication with my renal consultant saying he doesn't know of any other transplant patient in the hospital who takes less medication than me. And then I walked into uh, the other room to see my hospital pharmacist, renal pharmacist, and uh, and I was down to one medication. The pharmacist said, joked with me that um, I'd put I'd put them out of business. So it was indeed miraculous to bear witness to what had happened as I applied the Cross of Miracles. Uh, and now, ten years later, I'm just on two medication a day, which is, you know, extremely miraculous for a transplant patient. So, for me, uh, whether it's in health uh, that I've, I'm holding uh, thoughts which are affecting me, or whether it's in uh, in finances or relationships, there's great power in applying the Course of Miracles to whatever faces me and whatever I'm suffering with in my life.